Hi, I'm in the sewing room and I thought I'd show you a quick tip. Now, this is a quick tip from a novice, all right? So, I am learning how to sew and I try to, I try hard not to make mistakes, but of course I always do. Everybody does. But one thing that helps me not make big blunders is testing things out first. That's why I save um, material. I have a bunch of material in here, just scraps from different projects I've made, and that's what this is, and that is what this is. One of the projects that I'm working on right now is to make a big tablecloth, well, a semi-big tablecloth, but I wanted to have batting in it too, so that when I put pans on it, it's almost like a hot plate and things don't get um, burn my table. So in order to put my batting in the middle of my material, I needed to do a, a trial. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, so here are two pieces of material, and my batting is in the middle. And I'm going to turn, I sewed the three sides, and I'm going to turn it to see if it works. And look, it does not. I have a piece of material on the outside, and the batting is on the outside. So that didn't work. By putting my two pieces of material on the outsides and the batting on the middle and then sewing, that did not work. So I'm glad I tried that before I did my project. When I put my two pieces of material right together and right sides together, the pretty sides facing each other, and then the batting on the outside, I sewed it. When I turn it around, the batting stays in the middle. Now a lot of you probably already know that, but as a novice, I'm still learning, and so this was a really um, simple thing for me to do. Try it first before I ruined my material. Um, and there's a Barbie purse there. That's kind of cute. I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, but this is the material. This is my project. And I sewed all three sides, and there's a lot of extra, so I'll end up taking that off. But if I flip this around, and let's move you. If I flip my material, where's the opening? Right there. Watch this. Voila. It works. I love it when a plan comes together. Let me push out your corners. Okay. There it is. It's upside down. This side's not upside down. There. Okay. And then I will sew here. I'm going to take off some of this. I'll cut off the ends here. And then what I'll do is I fold. Can you see what I'm doing here? I will fold everything in and kind of sew it like this. And so that will be the end. And when I sew it, it'll, it'll be a little bit neater. I have too much material. I need to cut that off. And that'll be just a simple tablecloth. And I'll be able to put my hot dishes on here without burning my table. And I'll use this out in the shop when we're uh, cooking and eating out there. And I'll also be able to use it in the house on my nice wooden table. Isn't that cool? I love this. So, simple, easy tip. I hope it helps you. It sure did help me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Like I said, I'm a novice sew sewer. I'd love to hear what you're doing and give me some tips on sewing. If you have sewing videos, let me know about them. I'll be watching. Thanks.